uh, manufacture substances industry ammonia uh, so first we discuss uh, the process uh, in producing ammonia in industry uh, the very first thing that you need to know is the name of the process uh, you always remember okay the process to produce ammonia is called the Habel process uh. what's the name of the process to produce uh, sulfuric acid can any of you tell me contact process that's correct okay and to produce ammonia is Haber process uh, okay Haber is the name of a scientist unlike a contact process Haber process you only have one step in contact process we have four stages right okay we have four stages uh, to produce uh, sulfuric acid uh. but for uh, Haber process there's just one step or one stage so it uh, is much uh, easier or simpler compared to a uh, contact process okay now ammonia ammonia is a molecule that contains one nitrogen and three hydrogens so to produce ammonia uh, we just need nitrogen and hydrogen that's all nitrogens uh, nitrogen gas uh, okay in uh, in gas react with uh, hydrogens okay the ratios of nitrogen and hydrogen in ammonia is one to three right one nitrogens bond with three hydrogens uh, so therefore the ratio that we use is also one to three yeah? uh, one nitrogen a molecule react with three hydrogens molecule uh, produces ammonia okay produces ammonia okay now what is this uh? this is called the uh, heat of reactions uh. you are going to learn heat of reactions in form 5 okay so for the time being if you don't know what is this delta h okay it's okay yeah because you are going to do, you are going to learn in uh, form 5 uh, okay uh, negative 92 kilojoule per mole okay this shows that this reactions release heat uh, this is exothermic reaction and it release heat but anyway you don't need to worry about this uh, okay yeah because in form 5 you're going to learn this so now in form 4 you just need to know this equations of reactions now one important thing that you need to know is this reaction is also a reversible reactions if you still remember we discussed reversible reactions right okay from so2 to so3 yeah? sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide is a reversible process so for reversible process nitrogen react with hydrogen to form ammonia and ammonia at the same time ammonia it, it can uh, it, it will decompose to form nitrogen and hydrogens also okay so these two can react to form this and this also can decompose to form this uh, it's reversible okay reversible and for reversibles um, as, as we discussed last week for reversible process then you need to consider or you need to find the best condition the optimum conditions uh, to produce most product in the shortest times if you still remember we discussed that later okay uh, we discussed this last week and we are going to discuss this later the condition for these reactions uh, to produce most product in the shortest time eh? okay now that's the first thing that you need to know about uh, manufacturing ammonia the name is called Haber process and this is the equation for the reactions that uh, nitrogens react with hydrogens to produce ammonia okay now another important things for Haber process that you need to know is the sources of the raw material the raw material is the hydrogens and nitrogens eh? okay and and as I told you just now we we need large amount of nitrogens and hydrogens so where do we get this uh, large amount of hydrogens and nitrogens okay for hydrogens for hydrogens uh, we get it from water water is h2o right water is h2o means that in a water molecule h2o h2o that is two hydrogen atoms right okay so we can obtain hydrogens from water the water is in uh, gaseous state uh, steam steam okay so we heat uh, steam or water together with coke okay coke now this coke is not the coca-cola okay this coke is carbon eh? carbon is carbon so we heat uh, steam with this uh, carbon okay uh, then you can get hydrogen gas or, or uh, we heat the steam with natural gas methane okay methane gas then you can get uh, hydrogen okay now the equation for the reactions is not important here okay the reaction uh, the equation for the reaction is not important here 
what you need to know is we obtain hydrogens uh, from steam either the reactions between steam and coke okay or the reactions between steam and methane that's all okay uh, this may be asked uh, in exam uh, the sources of raw material the sources of hydrogen and the sources of nitrogens okay now for nitrogens nitrogens uh, uh, we obtain the nitrogen from the air uh, in the air there are six uh, 76 percent of nitrogens uh, 76 percent of nitrogens and then uh, about 21 percent of oxygens and then the other gas, and then we have the other gas like carbon dioxide and, uh, and the inert gas. Eh? Okay. Uh, you see, we have large amount of nitrogens in the air. Okay. Large amounts of nitrogen in the air. But the problem is, how do we separate these nitrogens from the other gases in the air? Okay. So what we do is we compress the air. When you compress the air in a very high pressure, the air will become liquid. You compress it. It will become liquid. We have liquid air. The air is the air around us. Eh? Okay, the air around us. We compress it to make it to become liquid. And uh, inside this liquid, then we have this liquid nitrogens, liquid oxygens, liquid carbon dioxide. And we separate all this uh, this uh, nitrogens, oxygen, carbon dioxide in a in a gas through a process called fractional distillations. Fractional distillations. Uh, then we get nitrogens, okay? Now, now how do we do this is not important here, okay? So I'm not going to discuss with you how to do these uh, fractional distillations. Uh, you just need to know that we get the nitrogen from the air, okay? And uh, uh, to separate this nitrogen from the other gases, we compress it to become liquid, and then uh, we do fractional distillations to separate these nitrogens, liquids, uh, from the other gas. So hydrogens from steam, nitrogen from the air. That are the sources of raw materials in Haber process. Condition for this Haber process. As I told you just now, Haber process is a reversible process. Okay, it's a reversible reactions. So nitrogens react with hydrogens to form ammonia. Ammonia decomposes to form nitrogen and hydrogens. Okay, so, um, so for reversible process, we need to... Uh, find the optimum conditions, the best conditions uh, to get most product in the shortest time. Uh. And uh, to increase the speed of the reactions, to speed up the reactions, we use catalyst. Catalyst. And the catalyst that we use is iron. Iron powder. Iron or iron powder. And you must remember this. Uh. Okay, you must remember the catalyst use. Now, can, can any of you tell me what's the catalyst? used in a contact process do you still remember what's the catalyst used in contact process vanadium 5 oxide that's correct okay vanadium 5 oxide okay uh, when you write the name you must include the five uh, bracket v okay vanadium vanadium 5 oxide okay so this is the catalyst for contact process uh, and the catalyst for Haber process is iron use iron as a catalyst okay and then we have a promoter this promoter is the, uh, the aluminium oxide now promoter is the substance that we use or the chemical that we use to increase the amount of product to increase the amount of products huh? catalyst to, is to increase the speed of the reactions okay to speed up the reaction and promoter is to increase the amount of products huh? So we have this a promoter, uh, aluminum oxide, and you must remember this as well, okay? And the ratios of uh, hydrogens to nitrogen is 3 to 1. I think this one should be no problems uh, because ammonia is NH3, yeah? NH3, okay? So we have 1 nitrogen to 3 hydrogens, uh, okay? So the ratios of hydrogen to nitrogen is 3 to 1. Temperature, okay? Temperature 450 degrees Celsius. Uh, again, uh, this one is the same as the this one is the same as the contact process. Okay, in contact process, we learn that um, if we use low pressure, low pressure we can get more products, but the reaction is too slow. And if we use high pressure, we can get less products, but the reaction is faster. Uh, so finally, so we need to find an optimum temperature. 
okay optimum temperatures to get the most products in the shortest times okay and uh, the optimum temperature is 450 degree celsius so in this uh, scientists found that under this uh, temperature you can get most product in the shortest time and then uh, for pressure for pressure the higher the pressure the more products produced uh. the higher the pressure the more products produced but higher pressure means higher cost yeah because you need to build a very very strong containers to withstand this high pressure okay so the pressure uh, that we use is 200 to 1000 standard atmospheric pressure okay it's considered very very high pressure uh, of the higher the pressure 1000 is the best uh, but the cost that incurred is very high yeah? uh, you must remember all these conditions okay must memorize all these conditions the catalyst the promoter the temperature the pressure the ratio okay 